mouse and Popoki is ready to get him. I'm gonna help him, otherwise she's gonna eat him. So I gotta take these books down and uh, then after that I'm gonna try to catch him with this and a broom. Popoki just got him and now he's over here somewhere and she's excited. That is how you catch a mouse, my dudes. That's exciting. Oh, my little dude. Bye bye. Well, that couldn't have been planned any better because today we're making cheese. <laughs> that stupid mouse has been hiding around our house. It's getting cold outside, and so all the critters are trying to get inside. Mice, flying squirrels, stink bugs. But anyway, that was kind of appropriate because today we're gonna be making some cheese. I love fresh mozzarella, I love it in caprese salad, I love it in pizza, I love it in bruschetta. The problem is it's just so expensive. I figured out how to make it, it's not very hard. This isn't a super well done tutorial. I'm stealing this recipe from thekitchen.com and I'm gonna link that down at the bottom. Uh, this is more for entertainment, but I figured you guys might wanna learn how to make 100% non-vegan fresh mozzarella cheese. So here we go. What you're gonna need is a cup of warm water, some citric acid, then you're gonna need some salt. Uh, we got some vegetable rennet, a little bit more conscientious for the calves there. A gallon of milk, some Thanos gloves. Thanos car, Thanos car, yeah. Thanos car. A slotted spoon, Dutch oven. Turn your burner on to medium heat. I like going a little bit more than medium just to start. And uh, we're gonna put that on. We're gonna add our 100% non-vegan milk. At the same time we're gonna do that, we're gonna add our acid. And it's very important to stir because if you don't, it's gonna get scalded on the bottom. And you do not wanna forget your thermometer. We're shooting for about 90 degrees here. And um, now that it's, it's had a little bit of time, we're gonna turn it down to medium. So the temperature is right at 80. You can really see how the acid's been working in there to start separating. You can really see some of those curds developing on that spoon handle, and that's that's what you want. So now we're at our target temperature, and uh, I'm gonna add this rennet. Rennet is an enzyme that is in calves' stomachs that helps them break down the milk. And I'm not a big fan of using the real stuff because they do take it out of the bellies of calves and calves are killed in that procedure um, and just add a little bit more there and I'm not super wild about that I worked at a dairy for eight months last year and I know there's a lot of controversy about dairies and how they take care of animals by the way I'm gonna stir this for 30 seconds now but the calves that we took care of we, we really treated well a lot of our calves went to the Amish for breeding purposes I'm sure a lot of them got eaten too but Anyway, so you see how that's separating now. So now we're gonna remove that from the heat. We're going to cover this and set a timer for 10 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna stop it right there because I misread it. I just checked the directions because I felt like that was a little longer. It's five minutes. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna check and make sure that the curds and the whey have separated and you can clearly see that they have. You're going to make a little grid there by cutting through it. And we're going to heat this up again and put our thermometer back in and this time we're going for 105 degrees. So we're gonna gently stir this for, well, until it gets to 105. Not quite there. Man, this is good. So there we go, that's 105, a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and remove that from the heat, and then I've gotta keep stirring. Next, we're going to take our curds and whey we're going to separate the curds from the whey 
using our same slotted spoon and we're just going to gently as possible take the curds and put that in a microwave safe bowl like this Pyrex. If you want to get rid of some of this extra whey, you can do that by dumping it in here. You do want to save some of your wake because that's the liquid that's going to be sitting in with this stuff. Now as soon as that's out of the microwave, you want to put it down and put your thermometer in it. And next, you want to put your gloves on. If you do not have these gloves, you will burn yourself. These aren't even like the best, but they're better than nothing because this is going to get hot. We want this to get to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to put that back in the microwave for 30 more seconds. And uh, it's coming out. I'm going to drip off a little bit more of this liquid. And we're going to put that in. See where it takes us. We're going to knead this like it's some bread. And hopefully, as you can see, it's really starting to come together like. So now that that's done and it's cooling off a little bit, I'm deciding to go without the gloves. Just a little easier to handle. And uh, now we're going to add our salt. Now that's a lot of salt. I'm not sure this needs all of that. So I'm just going to, I'm sure that's probably enough. To me, this is more fun than kneading bread. I'm going to take a cutting board roll this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slice this into two pieces like this. Got to try some, right? Hmm. It's good. And I better stop or I'm going to eat all of that. So now I'm going to take my pieces and lay them in here like this. And I uh, guess we'll have some bruschetta later on in the week. Bruschetta. I'm going to put the rest of the salt in there. And we're going to add some of the whey. And that's going to keep it nice and wet so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to add some more salt because I want this to really preserve it. I'm not going to eat the the way so it's not gonna kill me and now we're gonna put the lid on and we're all good to go time to put it in the fridge and contemplate dinner maybe Friday night for Sabbath we'll have some bruschetta anyway thanks for watching if you like subscribe I put new videos out on Wednesdays so we'll see you next week